Welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae's Way here today. So today I'm gonna to give you guys my growth update. A lot of you have been asking me what happened. Um, I recorded the video, but I didn't like the audio and I hated the footage. So that's why I did not upload it. But I know that you guys are waiting for the video. Hopefully you like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. I did have straight hair in the video, but of course my hair is curly now. This is just an old video from when I actually recorded my growth update. Also wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually having a sale on my website on my growth oil. For those of you who've been asking for a sale, I'm definitely very excited to give you guys this. So it's 25% off of my growth oil and this is the oil. So it's 25% off, which is a steal because I don't normally do sales that big. So if you are interested, go ahead and click the link in my description box. And I also wanted to shed some light on some people who have sent me photos of the progress that they received from using my growth oil. So I'll just insert some photos of those people. Thank you guys so much for sending me your pictures and using the Nourish by Shantae hashtag so I can go and look at some of the results that you guys are receiving. I'm very excited about it and I'm just excited about all the upcoming things that I have to share with you guys. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. Sorry for having a talky talky introduction, but I felt like that was very important to tell you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. We are going to be doing my growth update. Now you guys know about two months ago if you're subscribed to my channel. Um, if you're not, then you should go ahead and click down below and subscribe because I would love to have you a part of my channel. Basically two months ago, I did a growth uh, challenge with you guys and I said that it was going to be for 30 days and I was going to come back in 30 days and tell you guys all about it. Well, it's been past 30 days. <laughs> it's actually been two months. Someone asked, what are you doing with your new growth? As far as the new growth, I do have new growth. And you can kind of see like in the roots of my hair, it's kind of curly, but it's not anything like crazy. My hair is not so curly at the top that I can't like wear it straight sometimes. When I wear it down, at this state, it doesn't look right anymore. So I do have to put it in like a ponytail or I have to like fake it and like put some, some up and some down. So I've been doing like in between styles like that um, during this growth update or challenge. So that's what's been going on with the new growth part of my hair. It has been there, but I have been able to slick it down. I don't have a problem normally with slicking down my hair at all, even when it's curly. I just don't have an issue with that. So I didn't think there would be an issue with my hair with straight either because my hair normally crop rates when it needs to be laid down or put into a ponytail. Another thing that people were wanting to know is what I've been using. Um, at first I had on my growth challenge video that I was using, um, yeah, my growth oil, of course. And I do have new packaging, yay! New packaging, guys. So this is definitely not anything like the old packaging. It's a little bit updated. And a lot of people were confused on why my growth challenge was so simple and it doesn't make sense how you can make it so simple. To me, simple is always better. Like you can be doing extra stuff and be doing way too much. You don't have to do all that to grow your hair. And for me, oils and water, moisturizing, and herbs have always been what's worked for me. Of course, I have not been washing my hair because it's straight but i let you guys know that if your hair was curly you do want to make sure that you're moisturizing daily and all that so what i've been doing is i've been trying to do like this fake moisturizing routine on my straight hair and i've been doing that every i say two weeks not very often at all because i don't i didn't want my hair to be too like built up with products so as far as moisturizing it was supposed to be an internal thing so here's what happened when I started off my growth challenge, I was doing so good. The first, I say three, no, the first two weeks. <laughs> wow, that's horrible. The first two weeks I did my growth challenge, I was doing amazing. I was drinking my water every day. I was using my growth oil every two to three days because I didn't want my hair to get too oily. Sometimes I would even stretch it out to a week. As time went on, I started to fall off. I started to not 
do my huge cup of water. I was just drinking a normal amount of water. I normally do drink a lot of water anyways, and I have a very healthy lifestyle, so I get a lot of water from my foods. And in all honesty, uh, I eat a lot of vegetables and fruits, but the challenge said that you needed to be drinking water internally for the 30 days, and I didn't do that. I started to fall off. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna get out here and lie to you guys. Why would I do that? That's mistake number one. I did not follow through with the water. Um, and then with my growth oil, I was there were some days where I would be out of town, or I would be spending the night with like my boyfriend or something, and I wouldn't have my growth oil. He has growth oil in his house because he uses it on his beard, but I still would not like do it when I was at his house and stuff. So I completely fell off the bandwagon. I completely just like fell the challenge. I know the question is, even with me falling off the challenge, did my hair grow? And the answer is yes, my hair did grow some. I can tell because I have new growth. Um, did it grow as much as it should have because of me falling off and not being consistent? I do not think so. There were some of you who have sent me pictures in. I don't know if it was all from the challenge, but there are some of you who have sent me pictures in of your growth updates and you guys had like bomb results. Even with inconsistent use, I still did get some growth, but I should have just been more dedicated and more consistent and just, it would have paid off a lot more. But I will put in a comparison of what my hair looked like the first day I got it straight. And then now on the very last day that I'm gonna have it straight. Um, some of you guys noticed right away that my hair was growing. Um, I got that comment on my Instagram, which was not something that I noticed right away, but a lot of you were saying like, your hair's already growing. So let me go ahead and give you guys a little bit of details on what we're gonna do moving forward. If you did the challenge and you finished it and you did it consistently, congratulations. You're better than me. <laughs> But if you um, fell off, then one thing that you can do is you can start the challenge again. I have the information on my website, which I'll put down in the description box, of exactly what I did, and I have videos and stuff of what, what I did. Um, and if you see the video and you're like, okay, that's, that's way too simple, then maybe you can add in some more stuff of what you would normally do. But this is just what I find is necessary for hair growth. It's not rock and science, um, just, it's stuff that I name to you guys all the time throughout my hair growth videos. So I'm confident that you guys will see way more results than I did if you are consistent. And that's just common sense. Like that's nothing that I made up. Anything that you're consistent with will grow if you don't fall off and give up. If you don't receive the results within 30 days, like I said in my last video, you just continue on. If you can't get it in 30 days, then try it within 60 days or try it within 90 days or however long it takes you. And so anyways, guys, let me know down in the comment section if you try the challenge and if you received any results from the challenge or if you have been using um, any of my tips if you've been using any of my tips that I've ever put on my YouTube channel and that has helped you, let me know down in the comment section because I do see that you guys posted on different videos and stuff like that and it's like, I love to hear all of your comments. I, I, I'm i not one of the YouTubers that doesn't read the comment section. I literally stay in the comment section. I'm always reading the comments. Um, most of the time I try to read them. If I'm not reading them, then you know, it's just because I'm taking a break. But I love to read the comments. So I will see you guys in my next one. Hopefully this video wasn't all over the place because this is one of the videos that I did not have planned. I did not plan on putting this on my channel, to be honest. So this is one that is right off the top of my head. So hopefully this covered as much as I could cover. So anyways, I will see you guys in my next one. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.